This week, we're filling our bellies in Bushwick. We are tackling breakfast pie with potato, sausage, and eggs. How about a 10-layered lasagna al forno? Then there's the best burger in the borough and West African vegan eats. We take chocolate shots and get our fry on with Nutella-filled rice balls. We go in search of off-the-hook craft beer, but do I really have to eat pig ear? Glenny, you want to eat the pig ear first? I want you to eat the pig ear first. Are you sure? Mommy, the New York starts right now. taking you to Bushwick, and just like Bed-Stuy, it's undergoing a total transformation and is emerging as one of New York's hottest neighborhoods. Full of creative types that can't afford the high rents in Williamsburg and now even Greenpoint, Bushwick is fast becoming a colorful, bohemian community. But before we get to all the amazing food, let's get our facts straight. In 1638, the Dutch West India Company secured a deed from the local Lenape people for the Bushwick area. Peter Stuyvesant charted the land in 1661, naming it Boschwick, meaning little town in the woods. The area included the modern day communities of Bushwick, Williamsburg, and Greenpoint. Bushwick was the last of the original six Dutch towns of Brooklyn to be established within New Netherland. Now, when it comes to eating in Bushwick, there is new school and there is old school. And what makes this neighborhood so cool is that they both exist in perfect culinary harmony. In fact, there's one place where the artisanal pizza is cooked in an oven built over a century ago. In 1907, a new coal-fired oven was added to the original foundation of a building on Bushwick's Irving Avenue. Soon the building was providing fresh bread daily to the turn of the century Italian immigrants in the neighborhood. And over 100 years later, Charlie Verde, born in Sambuca, Sicily, bought the building. And when he discovered a long-forgotten treasure in the basement behind a crumbling plaster wall, he decided right then and there to build a new restaurant around it. And the oven is back to life as the heart of Verde Coal Oven, an artisanal pizzeria and bakery. And it is here where we found a pizza that's perfect for any time of the day called the Buongiorno. Gabriele Gracia prepped my pie. Fresh mozzarella, goat cheese, thinly sliced potatoes, homemade sausage, and three eggs cracked right on top. He put that in the oven and out came pizza perfection. All right, chin chin. Salute. Chin done. Are you open for breakfast? <laughs> yes, on uh, Saturday and Sunday. And get it to brunch. Exactly. Yeah. But if you think pizza is all they pop into that oven, think again. In fact, they don't have any gas lines, so 95% of what you get is slow cooked in there. Executive chef Alvaro Dalmao actually confis his octopus in it for three hours immersed in olive oil. Another winning dish, the 10-layered lasagna al forno with bechamel, bolognese, and parmigiano reggiano in between every piece of pasta. Or the short ribs cooked to tender perfection melt in your mouth. No knife necessary. Charlie, I love your plates, I love your pizza, I love your staff. Our next stop never fails to please, a neighborhood staple since it brought the farm-to-table movement east of Manhattan in 2005. Northeast Kingdom is a true culinary pioneer celebrating foraged ingredients and nose-to-tail preparations of locally sourced organic meat. And Chef Kevin Ader proves that exact point with our first plate. We're doing beef tartare with a roasted uh -huh, chanterelle mushroom puree, mm. arugula from our farm, from uh, your farm, do tell. Yeah, we have a farm upstate. Just a touch of the garlic, caper, parsley, Dijon, olive oil, rooftop salt from here in Brooklyn. Rooftop salt? Yeah, this is people making uh, salt on a roof. You don't want to overmix. This is a chanterelle mushroom puree. Beautiful. We got some shards of bread. Northeast Kingdom, tartare in the house of Chef Kevin. Three, two, one. The employee knows what he's doing. That is delicious. Mm, it's all about mm, the cow. Mm. You got the dancing dance. You got the delicious dance. I like that. All right. 
I'm gonna snack on this while you make me what? We are going to make a uh, egg from one of our chickens. What are you waiting for? Oh, sorry. Let's get to it. All right, I'm on it. The white ones are from Texas Leghorn chickens, mm -hmm. and these are from Bard Rock chickens. My uh, husband wants to get chickens. I'm like, I might, I don't know, taking care of chickens. Like, I need an extra thing to do. You can see it's a golden yolk, um, the sign of a, a proper diet. Chickens being able to eat what they want to eat, not being forced into uh, grain, mostly corn. Grubs. I don't buy supermarket eggs anymore. You shouldn't. I buy them from the farm up the road. They are not real. No. Cool. All right, so we're going to poach this now. I can poach an egg to save my life. First, some toasted semolina bread. Then we put the roasted mushrooms. We go with the egg. So what did you do to that garlic? This has just been slow cooked in olive oil. Yum. Um, and it's going to taste pretty tasty. And what are these greens? This is red vein sorrel. It uh, has a little bit of a sour note to it. A little bit of that fancy salt. From a Brooklyn rooftop? From a Brooklyn rooftop. Whoa, oh, there it is. Let's bring in the porn music, people. That's a sexy <laughs> egg there, Chef. In three, two, one. Mm. You're ridiculous. I just got demoted to yoke mopper, though. That's oh. so. Hey, you know what? I can't help it. If my drippy egg got all over your counter. That's not my fault. It's not the first time. <laughs> Ooh, it's not, it's the, not first the first time. time. That is drippy yolk has gotten all over the counter, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. Bring it in for the real thing. Whoa! We're gonna make a uh, pork pasta with like a pork bolognese, black trumpet mushrooms, uh, lacinato kale. Nice. Um, Rigatoni, some nice local cream. Uh, it's a very simple dish, but it's a great um, winter dish. On a cold day, this is the pasta you want to be eating. This is the one you want to have. This is the one you want to have. What are these? These Pray are tell. pistachio, of crushed pistachios. Of course, they are crushed pistachios. Yum. And that is the dish. And this where is my fork? Today, do I will know. The orange zest in the ricotta and the pistachios totally make it. It's oh. a there's a lot of power there, but it's driven by subtlety. Well, but it, and then and then you take you get that and then you get that mushroom and it's like a pocket of heaven. Right here in Bushwick. All right, there's one more thing you guys are notoriously known for. That is right. We are. Which you uh, almost you almost forgot to make for me. Almost doesn't really count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. The burger. Tell me about the burger. Burger. Um, local pasture-raised beef. Uh, again, from Tim. The same guy as the tartar. Same cow. Mushroom duck cell, Crispy onions. A brioche bun. French fries. Sweet mayo. House-made pickles. Can't go wrong. You looking at it? You looking at it? Three, two, one. That is so good. I know a burger too, people. Like Peter Luger with a steak, I want to eat all my burgers here. Nowhere else. Now, if you're looking to satisfy your sweet tooth, you can do that too, right here in Bushwick. Fine and Raw is where Road Warrior meets Willy Wonka in an industrial space on my favorite city block in Bushwick. All of the chocolate is cooked at low temperatures, so if you are a raw foodist, you can still eat it, unlike most other chocolates, which are prepared at higher temperatures. And it is all masterminded by this man, former finance guy turned chef turned chocolatier, Daniel Scar, who won me over with two words, chocolate shots. It's known in Bushwick as a foodgasm, <laughs> and um, it's a technical industry term as well. It, what it breaks down to is a molten espresso <laughs> cup filled with a 70% special blend dark chocolate. Cheers, Daniel! Chin chin! Chin chin! Oh. It's like ridiculous. What makes your chocolate so delicious? Because this is truly delicious chocolate. The blend is perfect. Essentially, this is, this is what makes us perfect. Um, um, the blend is creative chaos, creaminess, and silliness. We we'll put that all You can't in get there. a straight answer out of this guy, which is why I like him. He's our people. We just busted in here, by the way. We didn't call. We just went down the street. We came in. He was game. 
This is what makes Bushwick, this is what makes Bushwick the bomb. Coming up, we're taking on iconic Bushwick eats from Nutella stuffed rice balls to pig ears. We head to West Africa for amazing vegan eats, plus we road trip to one super sunsy spot north of the city. Have you ever tried the official pasta sauce of Tony on New York? Well, what are you waiting for? Pick up a jar of Victoria sauce today. The marinara is our classic. It has tomatoes, fresh onions, fresh garlic, olive oil, salt, and basil. No additives, no preservatives, just real fresh and delicious ingredients. 